So what is record producer? Why we need record producer? What is the difference between catalog and record producer? So uh, record producer is also a catalog item, but uh, from record producers, we can create a record from any of uh, any table. Right. So it's because of uh, the, the main use of record producer is uh, so it's not possible to provide uh, access to all the people in the organization. Mm -hmm. If they want to write any record on their request, no. they can use record, uh, record producer. Okay. So can I create a, a record on a custom table using record producer? Yes, we can. Very good. So what is the main difference between record producer and a catalog item? Okay, so catalog item is something, uh, it, it follows a different process like request item and uh, catalog pass will be a I mean, request also created. For this, if you use uh, record producer, it will be created a record of uh, which table you, have, you want to create. Can I create a record producer uh, record on SC underscore task table? SC underscore task table. Yeah, it's also a uh, record. Right. <clears throat> Okay, any other any other differences you would like to cover here? Anyone? Uh, we have workflow in catalog items. Uh -huh. But in record producer, we don't have workflow. Mm -hmm. I want to trigger a workflow from record producer. Is that possible? Mm, yes, it is know. possible. Yes, it is possible. Yes, it is possible. So, in that case, can I create a workflow and then attach to a record producer? Yes, we can. Right. Okay. So see here, this particular question is a very typical question. Okay, uh, why? So workflow for a record producer, right? First of all, why we need to encounter them? Say why? Because if you want to use a workflow, you go for service catalog. Right, service catalog have a standard structure and it's a ITL defined process. Right, so whatever it is, my service catalog or catalog item, whatever it is. Okay, first type, first type. Okay, you go with this and then it have already built in functionality for like request, requested item and task. Okay, which is called okay workflow. So this already this this is there. When you already have it, why you need to create a record producer and trigger a workflow from it using script? This is the first question we need to ask. Okay. Technically, triggering a workflow from script, yes, it is possible. Okay. But why? You have a custom table, you are creating a record on it. You have a incident, you are you have an incident record producer, it is generating an incident. Why you need to attach a workflow to incident? You understood? Huh? That too, when you are creating a workflow, you need to when you are creating a workflow, you need to select the respective table. Is that workflow is being attached to the same table? Without a table selection, can we able to create a workflow? You are getting my points, ma? Everyone? Yeah. Yes, right. Makes sense, right? Everyone, you got this point, ma? Can you just repeat the last point? I, I was so, can I that. create a workflow? Okay, without selecting the table. No. No. Right. And second thing is, when you are calling a record producer, when you are calling a workflow using a record producer, using script, is this workflow is created on the same table that you are going to create a record producer? Right. So now you have a workflow. It is created in a change table and you are creating an incident here. Then what is the point of triggering a workflow from a record that you are generating an incident? You are getting this point, Ma? Shubham, you got this point? Everyone, please. Right? So these are practical things. Okay, it's just a simple dummy dump question. Can we call a record producer? Can you call a workflow from a record producer? Why? First question is why? What is your need? Tell me. Then I will call it. <coughs> you are getting it, ma? Everyone? So this is an interview question, that to a dump question. Practically, if you want to trigger a workflow, you have a defined ITL defined process. There is a management is there. 
like incident management, change management, problem management, request fulfillment management is there. Where it have its own SLAs, where it have its own definitions of workflow, activities, everything. Okay. When you have this particular one, why you need to trigger a workflow from a record producer is our primary point that you need to encounter with. Them. And also, I guess, uh, record uh, like we can't straight away connect the workflow to the record producer. We have to uh, like uh, both should be having the same table, no? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have to, we have to assign the workflow to the target table rather than the record right, producer. Right. Okay, that is also a practical thing. But first thing is why, right? That's where we need to encounter them. Then they have to tell, okay, this is my requirement. Then you can say yes or no. Okay, you don't scare here or you don't confuse here. Because if we confuse now, then they will ask more questions in this. Right, ma? Is that clear, ma, everyone? First thing? Please acknowledge, ma. Yes. Okay. Now, uh...